looks like we're just... All right, so... Took a break. I try to treat everybody here. Oh, thanks, man. I'm all right. Uh, to try to get some uh, attention. Hold this one second. Oh, actually, I need. I need a. No, I just need to store it somewhere. Thank you. Looks like yeah, I get the gas pass back ready. Oh man. Get off your 
Oh, all right, so whew, I had to add a gas mask on there for a minute. Uh, uh, yeah, so took a minute here to uh, to try to take care of everybody, and uh, and uh, man, we came back to uh, over here to, to Cal Anderson, and as soon as we turned the corner, it was uh. Yeah, it was going down. So, yeah, uh, so a few people asked questions about uh, type of injury and something like nothing is, uh, nobody's dying. So, you know, uh, that's always a good thing. But uh, it's just a lot of, just a lot of different injuries in regards to uh, like burns from flashbangs and, uh, you know, issues with, uh, some people's face and stuff like that. So. Uh, so I got the mask back off for a second. Uh, those <coughs> flashbangs, they got a pepper spray or something in them. So, uh, uh, <coughs> this is a fast paced march of protesters out of, um, there we go, the Mason's out over there. This is a fast paced march down Broadway. But like I was telling you guys in the first stream, I mean, there goes flashbang right there to our left. Damn, they can't move. They can't move. Calling for a medic back over there. Uh, the problem is this, 88 square miles in the city of Seattle, you know? So go one direction, go another. The problem that we have in our city. Oh, shit. God, flashbang is hit right behind my leg. Uh, no matter what, no matter what, no matter where we move people into the city, man, this problem still persists. Uh. Right here on your side, oh, I got you. <laughs> Who's here? Red. <laughs> What's up, Red? I got you, bud. <laughs> I think I lost everybody else. I got you. Thank you. All right, so heading down east to Denny. The police are stopping here. We hear them saying, hold. We hear. You guys need to leave. Protesters are now rallying on Broadway and uh shit, Diddy. So
We need to get to a side. We need to get to a wall. We need to get to a wall. Okay. Fuck, maybe not. There's a wall right there. Police are pushing the protesters downtown uh, on a Denny. Denny leads down to the West Precinct. I don't know if the plan is to take it down there, but. Officer Claude, 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 Ah, uh, uh, I got the pepper spray in the eye. Shit, I got pepper spray in the eye. Uh, uh, looks like an arrest going down right there. Oh my god. Looks like it's a munition that was thrown back there behind the police line. Uh oh, uh oh, watch out, watch out! for a medic. Red! Red! Medic! Hey, bro, you need some of this shit, bro? No. It's definitely funky out here today, guys. 100%. I mean, police now got a double step. Not sure where the protesters are well, pushing to, but increasing pace. Hold breath. Take deep breath. We got a stampede. We got a stampede going over here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. I just got pressed in the back with a baton. <laughs> okay, I just got hit from the boot. With a baton again. Okay, I just got hit with it again. With a baton. I've been hit three times now. In the back. Trying to get away. Uh, fast as I can. This is an old fat guy. So. Uh, probably can't move it. As fast. Get it stop. <sighs> Man, this is funky. This is. Uh. 
Go again. I'm I kid, sorry. I'm you good? Here. Yeah. Just give me a second. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, it took me so long. I had every street blocked off. I couldn't get through. You're in double step, huh? Fuck, here comes the flash, man. Yep, yep, yep. Huh. Turn it the other way. You're hella tall. Uh, to the outside, though. Huh? To the outside, which is to have a little bit extra room. Yeah. In the middle. Yeah, I don't want to get in front of me. Thank you, Jake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, y'all. I'm not trying to get boxed in. Come on, y'all. Oh, Hey, oh. Stay in front of me, please. All right. Give me this. All right. Post getting pushed down. Uh, hey, hey, hey. This will be. I'm moving. This is Boylston. This is Boylston. This is Al coming into Broadway in Boylston. Uh, exit out of here. Okay. Move out of this stream. I'm about to get fucked up by these motherfuckers. Okay. Huh. Let's just let's see the street to the right. Let's see from the outside, please, because they're pushing through and it's not timed right now. Okay. We're on time. Well, this is Pine and Boston. Pine and Boston here. Tired, bro. I'm trying. I'm tight. You gotta watch that. Okay, sorry. All right, all right, all right. We don't want to get boxed in. Come on, man. Move that bike, family. Move that bike. I can't go that way. Here we go. Let me get in front. Let's get up in front. Okay, and we'll get out of here. Yeah, let's let's move. Let's move it. Huh. Back to the street. Huh. All right. Good. There you go. Hey. Hey. Yeah. It's getting it's getting funky. Come on. Come on, let's go across the street. Let's get across the street. Let's get across the street. So I'm just not trying to get beat by them today, and they're yeah. not. We can go around. We can try to stay to the left, but they're going to stop us here. Oh, it's just so right. Hey, just keep moving, please. Just keep moving. They're not nice today. If you're going to do anything, please do it to me, and we're trying to move. Yeah, we're pressed. We're just press. Thank you for asking, officer. Hey, bro. This would have been one hell of a good day doing uh, doing that. Uh, what was the thing we were talking about earlier? This today is supposed to be self care day. Yeah, well, we definitely don't want to crowd you. Yeah, we don't. We don't want to crowd you, officer. Once you be able to do your job, we see. We trying to stay out the way. You. Thanks. What the f What's going on? 
they just back on Broadway. They just want to keep the fight on Broadway as much as possible. Is that what it is? That's what they were saying earlier. Or maybe they're Broadway. saying back around that I mean, you know, fucking <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the correct answer. Who knows? Here we go. Here's a aerial type view. Zeros we can get. I guess Jake's taller though. But uh, <laughs> maybe not today. It's a tough story to cover on the ground, man. Me. Hey, what's up, Sarge? Hey, How man. you doing? Long time, man. Man, I'm all right. It's good to you see know, you. I, we got we got banged up a bit, man. You know, it's tough out here on the front, man. Yeah, you bad. Killing me both. Huh? I'll tell you what. Hey, but y'all. get some exercise today. You get some exercise. Yeah. You getting that COVID get weight off? Man. I'm sweating. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. See, I remember. I remembered your name, Sergeant. Yeah. Hey, man. When are we going to get, you know, you know what, I'll tell you what. Uh, what's up? You know, I should sit down and have a cup of coffee. I would really Man, like that. let's do that. Drink I drink coffee. Yeah. Drink a lot of other stuff, too. But but we start with coffee. Start with coffee. Yeah, man, I for sure. Like I know you're busy, man. Yeah. All right, Sarge. I'll see you later. Okay. Yes. Here, let's try to get that out of my pocket. All right, Sergeant. Good looking. We'll have a good conversation. Man, I appreciate it. Hey, man, it all starts. Conversation. Conversation. It all starts there, Sarge. I'm blind for a second. I'm going to drop off. Yeah. Okay. You want me to wait for you? All right. Damn, my face is on fire. <sighs> Somebody calling for a medic behind us. <laughs> I was gonna ask you to carry me. <laughs> man, I'm saying, man. Uh, I mean, this is a very quick pace that's up here. And I'm not just saying that because I'm out of shape. Like, it's a fast step. Uh, the police are using right now, backed up by the bike police. We got somebody. Over here, 
we got a SWAT. And I saw, I can't confirm it, but uh, my understanding is that the SPD put out mutual aid to the King County Sheriff uh, for support. So I can't confirm that at this time, but if there was a call for mutual aid to the King County Sheriff, then very well might see reinforcements from the Sheriff's Department on the ground here tonight. I think this is gonna end up over Cal Anderson. Everybody's now turning right. Right on Denny. And this exit's in the Cal Anderson Park. So, and I don't know if the protesters are planning on moving people. Over here, this is Cal Anderson Park. People have been following the stream for a while. You remember Cal Anderson Park? This is actually where the, uh, a good portion of the Chaz and the Chop was located here at Cal Anderson. This was actually the northern barrier, uh, Denny, between Broadway and 13th, where the areas of the Chop and the Chaz prior to that. So, this area that we're at right here. Protesters are remaining in the street. Uh, they didn't disperse into the park. Police continue to move them forward. These streets are very narrow up here. It's residential. You're turning right? Oh. Well, this will get us out of the police line. Yeah. Thank you. Well, this street right here leads everybody right back to the Western Barricade. Uh, it's good for us. We finally get to get back ahead of the line. <laughs> so. Uh, sorry, I was pushing you earlier, but they were not. They were no, I'm glad you pushed me. I mean, I, they was pushing me. Bro, I got the baton to the back quite a few times. I mean, so... She, I'm glad you pushed me. We just want to be, be safe, man. Uh, you know. You're in Cal. Okay, we're on the east side of Cal. 11th. On a pathway on the 11th Avenue. Approaching Olive. My whole body is burning. Whatever hit my shoulder, bro. It's uh, it's a pepper spray. It's still nah, nah, it's no. Nah, I got it, it's something hit me. I don't know if it was a shrapnel oh. or one of those projectiles. And where it's at, I can't look at it right now. People are now, they're moving to the field. Let's take the stairs. Oh, like that. They're going to a field. We're about to get boxed in. Uh, 
Yeah, they're sitting in a safe yeah. position for us. Let's fall back I think we on the field. Back. Just to keep an outside. Yeah, no, we don't want to be. <sighs> All right, so Cal Anderson Park right here. Can you hold this for a second, Drake? Thank you. Woo. All right. So it's been a big loop up here on Capitol Hill so far, at least for this round two. Uh, looped around the hill. Everybody's back here on Capitol Hill. Uh, Cal Anderson Park, to be exact. The police are still trailing behind over there. Uh, they're riding through. Yeah, they're riding through. So, um, like I said, man, we used to spend a lot of time here covering stuff when the chop was here, on huh, Jake? Uh, that was a, a it seemed like a lifetime ago the chop seemed like it was last year sometime you know what i'm saying like we're not even three weeks past it maybe three weeks right about now yeah they got swept july 1st it's about 25 days ah my friend i don't know what i'm supposed to shower with or whatever but this is this is agony right now. What's that hole? Be on the inside of this. Yeah. All right. So we'll give a second to talk to everybody here. So, so cops over there, all on bikes, lining on yeah. the northeast side. Uh, I'm gonna check. You good right here? I just want to check the back side real quick. Make sure that it doesn't circle around. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Damn. It's on again? Oh, man. Oh, shit. I need a gas mask. Let me get my gas mask. Watch this drop right here. All right. I can't, I can't jump it. I got to go around. I hurt my leg last time, bro. I can't jump it. Jesus Christ. This is going from bad to worse over here. Where are the police? Okay. Police are stationed there in the park. Yeah, yeah. The police are right there in the park. By the way, it's hard to maneuver a lot of stuff when you got a the vest on. You got the goggles on. <sighs> All the other protective gear. So now that now the police are riding around, pushing people out the park. Your safest bet might be in the actual park. Yeah, inside the park. Fencing. All right. Right now, and then we can exit out that side if we need to. You got multiple okay. points. Okay. <coughs> uh. Well, safe to say I got a lot to talk about. And uh Oh man. Whatever it is, man, it's the worst, dog. It is the worst. <sighs> That's how I had to drop off last time. I just got I got smoked out by it. I couldn't breathe. I felt like my uh, I know what it is when you can't breathe like that, bro. Believe me. I mean it's like stories are important, but it's not that important. We ain't gonna die out here. No. Man, if I died out here covering these protests, my mama would bring me back from the dead just so she could kill me again for dying at the protest. <laughs> but, yeah, she'd be like, what was wrong with you? <laughs> Why was you doing all that cussing out there? I was trying to explain to my mom. I was like, mom, I've been doing good. You ain't heard me cussing a long time. I'm sorry, mom. You know what I'm saying? Mom. Look, Jake apologizing to you uh, as well, uh, mom. I won't swear on your presence, I promise. You know what I'm saying? Mom be like, I know them blast balls is loud and everything. You don't need to be cursing. You got the whole world watching. Yes, ma'am. So, right now, it looks like the police are giving a buffer. Uh, we're back here on Pine. Like I said, this protest hasn't left Cap Hill. Uh, you know, it's not today. I mean, we don't... Don't really have any idea what's going on downtown at the West Precinct, if anything, but helicopter up, up top. Yeah, we're okay. Thank you for asking. 
God bless you. What I could use is a nice water right now. Is that the Western Barricade? Is there? Is that an actual barricade again? Oh man! <coughs> it wasn't earlier when I left. So we're gonna show you guys if we can get close enough. We're gonna show you guys something kind of ironic. So we're in here. This was the uh, Black Lives Matter mural that was painted here back in the early days, the late days of the Chaz, the early days of the Chop. This is the actual mural that we're walking across. Man, look at all these are flash grain, grenade, shrapnel. It's a lot of, a lot of flash grains out here. So. <coughs> So you want to hear something ironic, almost ready to share it with you. So, uh, let me show you guys something. Yeah, I don't know, it's either SWAT or Sheriff. I know they made a call. So the, the worst thing about it is, is this building right here, right behind the officers with the red uh, and the green and everything. That's our office. Why do you hate you know, us? People, you guys always hear us say that our office is right here on Capitol right Hill, next to the East Precinct, and Precinct right back there, us. the white building back there us? in the background. What are you gonna do, So Let's this is the building out. our office is in right there. That's the East Precinct right there. I got a they feeling I'm, we're Why not getting not to the office bad. anytime soon uh, as it's behind the police line, so. But yeah, it's the irony of things, man. You know, I'm less than 60 feet from being able to go sit down. So I'd be able to go talk to him, though. And uh, goodbye. We're going to get out the middle of the street, though. Whose lives matter? But for you guys that have been, how are you? For you guys that have been following this stream today and previously, like, I mean, it's exactly... How we say it's gonna be, man. That it's uh, it's cat and mouse, man. In the sense that uh, 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 it's been an out, man. Let me gather my thoughts, guys. Sorry. Whew. Loosen up this vest. So basically, what I've been saying is, is this what we saw the first week of June? Is that the protesters get pushed back? Uh, the police deploy whatever their tactic is, the the, the, the blast balls or the uh, whew, the blast balls or the uh, pepper spray. The protesters pu get pushed back and then the protesters reconstitute the line. Then the police push the protesters back. And so, you know, I mean, we, we saw this in June. We're seeing this right now. I mean, and really, this just this just comes down to uh, you know a stamina thing. At the moment, you know, what I'm saying who has more stamina, and I mean, I, I don't know. Like I said, uh, I can't confirm it, but we're hearing that there was a mutual aid call over to the King County Sheriff uh, for support from the King County Sheriff because this this is just man, it's law of attrition. At this point, it's like man, who's gonna stay out here the longest? Well, Mari, and, your best. Uh, and in the interim, yeah, now I'm, I'm gonna tighten it up here in a second. In the interim, though, what, what happens is, you know, people get moved back and forth and everything else. I have no idea how many blast balls have been on. Does anybody have water out here? I do, yes. Let me get out of my bag. Thank you. Are you Omari? Yeah, I'm Omari. Somebody else told me about you. I, uh, I'm first day in Seattle, so. Oh, okay. Well, welcome to Seattle. You, 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 you picked a fine day to come to the Emerald City, my friend. Uh, all right, well, I hope it was good. Uh, you got this one. He went to go change clothes, gear up, and come back out, I believe. And so what we have here is we have another line. And, and like I said, hey, how are you? Good evening. 
God bless you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. And you know the the lines continue. Who's and in green water. Uh, with their AR. Could somebody the open it for me? Uh, that's either um, SWAT or I believe it's the SWAT. Hey, this is So what's what's not clear? So so here's what some people are saying, right? Some is is this still? No, I mean, I mean clearly I don't know, but I'm just talking over the stream. Is this still a, the original unlawful assembly since the uh, since the area was cleared? Is this still the? Um, well, let me let me see if I can call somebody. So protesters are saying they're done for the day and that they'll be back. That's what they're saying, and we'll see if the SPD lets them leave. They're saying they're done. Uh, and man, this would be a good ending to the day, to be honest with you. Okay, Jake's telling me to back up, so we're gonna listen to Jake. Protesters are saying that they're done for the day um, and that they'll be back tomorrow. Oh, wow. Uh. This is shrapnel. This is shrapnel from the uh, flashbangs. It looks like people are put together here. From the flash grenades. Protesters are saying they're done for the day. <laughs> let's go, let's, let's walk, let's walk, let's walk, let's walk, let's walk, well, let's go, let's see what happens, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, so we got all kinds of different crews out here, and the people in the green hats, these are the legal observers over there. And the legal observers are, I guess, just that, the lawyers or legal professionals who observe uh, the interaction. So somebody asked me what the lime green hats were. Those are the legal observers. <laughs> Protesters are slowly pulling back right here down Pine. Uh, they're retreating west towards Broadway.
Can you hold this for a second, Jake? And uh, either direction. You gotta keep it pushing, man. I'm gonna go five for her. Big boss, big ball. Oh. You know what's up, man? You've been painting the city, man. What's up? No, the city, the city painted me, man. I got. I'm, I'm all, yeah, I got tagged up by SPD, man. Glad to see you okay, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Shit, bro. I've seen a lot of people with paint smattered all over, man. Yeah. We got, we got tagged. But, but you know, they very well might say it's street art. <laughs> you, might gotta, you got my hat, Jake. Well, at one point in your... We're going to have to buy you a new hat. Man, new hat. Oh, the team store's back open. Bro, we got to go get some Mariners hats, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, me, I'm okay. We're just talking about, you know, the Mariners lost the home, uh, their, their season opener, man. But they'll be all right. I want you to send me that. talking about sports. No, well, I'm saying, because the, the Mariners team shop is still, it's open now. You it send me the is, thing. It opened on the 25th. The, team, um, the, 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 the stadium team. store opened yesterday. Man, you know, I'm going and I'm buying, like, like at least 10, 12 new Mariners hats fitted. You know what I'm saying? Because protest season, I've either lost or destroyed all my M's fitted. So you find you find me find me there tomorrow at the Mariners team store, wishing the M's a lot of luck, man. You know what I'm saying? That road trip down there in Houston, Texas. You know, only 60 games this year, Jake. Only 60, and we're 0 and 1. So. Only 60, yeah, it's 0 and 1. But you know what, man? That means all we can do is from there is go up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well. <laughs> Whatever, man. Lifelong. Would have taken last year's start this year. Yeah, li lifelong optimistic Mariners fan, man. Optimistic about the Mariners, like I'm optimistic about our city. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we'll see, we'll see what happens, man. But year after year, I'm not quitting on the M's, man. I never. I was the season ticket holder for like yeah, five I'm, years. Yeah, I'm not quitting on Seattle either, man. I I have no idea. I wish I could say what's going on right now in our city. I mean. Clearly, I know, but you know what I'm saying? There's just so many different things. But, like, man, I'm not quitting on the city, bro. Not quitting on the M's. We're going to go tomorrow to the team store. So let you guys know, Mariners team store, me and Jake, because Jake loves his fittings. I do love like, it. Like, it, it, it matches up. So we're going to go down there, and we're going to get some ball caps from the team store. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, and uh, and see what happens, man. I love my fitted. Just you know, this is the yeah. That you got a new fitted on today. You got the Kevlar fitted, yo. It's custom, son. I'm gonna get a black one too, so I can make sure. Man, head to toe. You got the custom fitted Kevlar. They don't sell that one at the team store. Sorry, they. I mean, you know. Yeah, man. Go big or go home, huh? Yeah. So the police have maintained their line right there on 11th and Pine protesters have kind of filtered out this way towards Broadway uh, don't really know if it's over yet for today or not the uh, the official news office of the protesters said that they were called it a day but you know oh, did we, they? we don't we don't we don't know if if we're gonna go with that press release or not um, they call it a day somebody sent me a message it's like man how can you be so uh, upbeat it's like, man, I don't take none of this personal. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, man. You know, you'll never make it through life. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, man, I believe me, I don't want to get hit with blast balls, pepper sprayed, baton. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Flip side, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of other stuff I don't want to see out here either, man. Really, I just want to see our city come back together, man. And... You know, that, that new Seattle we all talking about. The Seattle we all talk about, we aspire for. You know what I'm saying? The Seattle that it's supposed to be. That, uh, man, that we get there. And it's been a minute since people even heard me talking to the stream. You know what I'm saying? It's been doing a morning show and everything else. And, um, you know, covering some of, some of the protests around here. Uh, I really stopped streaming a lot, though, when I was on the freeway. Uh, that night when when summer taylor thank you when summer taylor and diaz love got hit on the freeway and summer summer taylor eventually died i was out there on the freeway and uh 
man, you know, I was just ready to be like, man, I just need to quit all of this. Because at that point, you know what I'm saying, uh, we'd already just seen a lot. And so we didn't stream. You didn't find me streaming for a while. Um, but clearly back out here today, you know, I, I think we're at like six hours or close to it so far today. Uh, but, you know, I mean, hopefully people, when they watch this, the stream, and I know some people be fighting in the comments, so I'm not talking about y'all. But uh, when, when when people people watch the stream or what's going on out here in our city, man, that it's also an opportunity to, to spark a larger conversation. You know what I'm saying? If the conversation is, is just today on, okay, if the protesters did this, the police did that, which is all valid. But, man, there's no conversation on our route to a better Seattle than like, man, we just talking. We ain't doing nothing. We just talking. And I think that today is also an opportunity for us to look and see us like, man, there, there is no, what, what would, you know what would really be interesting? Because the, the, in some aspects, the police and the community are saying the same thing in certain spaces. Man, where, where's the de-escalation team? You know what I'm saying? Where is, you guys saw the pink umbrella, the very, I guess that was the video that made me famous right there on the Western Barricade. And uh, where the officer grabbed the pink umbrella and all hell broke loose from there. But you heard me, I'm a journalist, I'm a reporter. I'm like, hey man, let's everybody de-escalate. Let's calm it down, guys. You know what I'm saying? Let's calm it down. And it's like, man, we don't have no professional de-escalate. You know what I'm saying? Where's the spittle zone? And I'm not saying that's the answer. I'm just trying to challenge everybody out there to think kind of outside the box. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like things either go zero or 100. Um, and there, there's no there's no stopgap at like 50. Uh, you know? Um, and so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even trying to, you know, protesters this, police that. And like, man, believe me, man, I've earned my stripes today to be able to say whatever I want to say because we've been out here. But all I'm saying is, is that if people just, if people just look at this, this and, and, it's just, it's just police protesters. Man, we got to challenge ourselves. Seattle. I know it's a lot of people watching outside of Seattle. It's a lot of people watching globally right now. I see the first stream of like almost 800,000 views or something like that across streamed everywhere. It's a lot of people watching. But I'm talking to Seattle right now, the Emerald City, the 88 square miles. Close to it. Man, if you stop the conversation... In the last few weeks, CHOP got swept on July 1st, and you stopped the conversation, man, I'm challenging you to start the conversation again. You know what I'm saying? If you stop, if you stopped holding people accountable, whether whether it's it's the, the mayor, the chief of police in the city council, or community organizations or protesters, man, I challenge you to hold people accountable. You know what I'm saying? I mean this this is I'm always looking for a silver lining, if you can't tell. I'm always a very optimistic person. And what I say is this, there's an opportunity, an opportunity to start the conversation again. <laughs> start the conversation, you know? Because, I mean, we can't sustain as a city. Clearly, we, we've, reached a, we've reached an obstacle here, you know? This isn't sustainable. It's not sustainable. And, you know, Converge kind of platform, we got people from all, you know, all different viewpoints. So we got people who are like, yeah, well, man, you know what? Defund the police 100 percent and everything will be cool. Then we got other people who are like, man, send to the feds. Everything will be cool. That's fine. Everybody has a viewpoint. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is it's like, man, this, what we see going on right now, a lot of it is, is the symptom. You know what I'm saying? It's the symptom that we see here in the streets. And so now we, we come with all these tactics uh, of how to treat the symptom, but not how to treat the disease. You know, do we treat the symptom by, you know, everybody's kumbaya? Do we treat the symptom by sitting in Homeland Security? Do we treat the symptom? But nobody's talking about how we treat the disease that's plaguing our city, you know? And that's how we have to actually get to the root of things, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how. So no, no matter no matter your your political persuasion in this city, in the city of Seattle, the Emerald City, the city we love, the city that no matter what, man, I'm never giving up on the M's. You know what I'm saying? This city right here. Like, come on. You know? So 
if you took a, if you took a vacation from holding elected officials, community groups, organizations, protesters, whoever accountable, guess what? You back off vacation. If this is a wake up call, you need it. Then you know what I'm saying. Let's let's get back to work. We need to all work to make you know what I'm saying Seattle the city that we all deserve. 100 percent. Real deal. So. So I see Bobby Stills. What's up, Bobby? Bobby Stills, Bobby Skills. So well, good for you. I can't. I can't wait to go home tonight. <laughs> I'd be happy to just get to the office. No, no, I know they will. But we're, no, we're, yeah, I know. I'm all. I'm all blue. I guess so. Did you get any blue? You just got a little bit of blue. They're on the orange. Yeah, they're on the orange Bro, I mean, they're, SPD supplies are definitely being depleted today. They're, they're, they're definitely being depleted. Right. So you have a small group right here. You got SWAT vehicles, a few SWAT vehicles. You have personnel van. And it looks like you got some other people coming in. Like I said, whoa. So you got, what is this? Where are all these guys coming from? Volunteer Park? No. Uh, oh, okay. I, you know, so they got ran to the other the side. Why, why they're protecting the fountain at Cal Anderson? Uh, okay, so what Bobby, uh, Bobby Stills is saying is that further down the street there, or on the other side of Cal Anderson Park, there was a fountain where the fountain is is there was another standoff. Uh, apparently it must be cleared because the police are now returning. Um, a group of protesters returning back over here as well. And these guys down here, what are they doing? Looks like they're trickling back this way as well. Oh man, we're gonna have to put these masks back on. Oh, damn it. No, no. We got, it looks like the mask coming back on. Kaleg! Look, there goes Eric Calligraphy right there. Kaleg! What's right. up, man? Hey! Hey! Shoot your shot! Shoot your shot, baby! That's uh, one of our photographers, Eric Calligraphy. You know what I'm saying? You guys used to see an Eric with me on the ground, Eric and Bobby. Eric's on the roof today. He's, he's getting his photos on. So. What's up, Nick? I found a couple more gas masks. Look at the whip. Oh, oh. Got the whip. What's up, whip? Got some more gas masks. Got some more gas masks. Gas masks like this. Uh, yeah, we, we need we need more gas masks. The, the 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 whip is saying we need more gas masks out here, so you know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Oh, I see Javi. Hold on one second. Hold on. I'll come over there and say, hey, Bobby. 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 <laughs> stop. Stop, man. You can only imagine what a bullet feels like hitting it. Don't want to find man, out. Rubber. Well, no. I mean, like a, yeah. I wish it. One of your AirPods, bro. Man, those were my <laughs> AirPods. Man, I knew you stole my AirPods. Man, damn it, Bobby. Anybody else, bro? You got, you got gas saying, in there? I was on my computer. Uh, the, 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 the Bob, the, uh, what is that? It's uh, it's whatever comes out of those glass balls or whatever it is. That pepper spray, huh? Huh? I don't know what time it is here. What time is it here? I don't really get gas, 
like seven something. Seven? Long night. Alright. Well, looks like we found ourselves in the middle of something here. So we're gonna get out the middle of the street. We're we're gonna get out the middle of the street. Oh slice matter! So legal advisors are right there. The light is now reconstituted. It looks like on two sides. You, you've got people over there on the north side of 11th and then right here on the west side of uh, a pie. This isn't regular pepper spray, man. Send somebody out here wasn't up for it. You know what I'm saying? Take a lot of stamina to be out here keeping the stream going. We might be out here though. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't see him though. Damn, I hope it ain't Agent Orange. So the light has reconstituted itself. What's up, man? <laughs> oh my God, what you doing? Ah, just out here doing my job. No, no, but, ah, not, 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 right not, 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 not that shoulder though. <laughs> ah, not that shoulder, but yeah, no, I'm all right. I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah, you river, have you? Huh? River? No. no. I don't know how you missed this party. I'm not sure. Whatever happened
drive-by in Aurora, huh? So people are saying that there was a drive-by shooter in Aurora. Bobby, Woo. show the stream your sweet pants. <laughs> I see, I see you. you I see you came dressed for the occasion. Okay. Yeah, you won't find me out here in none of those, bro. You know, I, I'm definitely not the best dressed for the protest, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you gotta be able to keep your sense of humor out here, man. <coughs> definitely something in the air. Yeah, everybody's coughing. There's something, there's something in the air right now. They're funky tonight, huh? Damn. So we're right here on 11th and Pine. Guys that have been following this protest for a while, right there across the street, that's where the Western Barricade was the first week of June. Then June 8th, the East Precinct is right up there where that next where that red light is at. The Seattle Police Department evacuated the East Precinct, and that's what led to the Chaz and the Chop. July 1st, the Seattle Police Department came back and they cleared <coughs> they cleared out the Chop. And, uh, and man, whatever today is, it's hard to keep track, but here we are again. Almost at the exact same location. <coughs> oh, Aurora, Colorado, okay. Too. I actually had one. Did you? You didn't bring me a hot dog? Doing me wrong, Bobby Steele. They're saying take off your riot gear. I don't see no riot here. Actually, though. Did they declare a riot?
got that the PPE has been repurposed for uh, for pepper spray. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's our office right over there. Huh? Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you. Thank you for asking. So one thing, right? Now when we talk about the the SPD and their posture right here, and of course here's the protesters right here, is that what what we what we don't see is right now is officers that actually have gas masks on, and so that's important because you know uh, when the the flashbangs are dispersed, then that pepper spray comes out, and so we see right now that. They don't have on the, the items to actually be protected against the pepper spray. They're out here with masks. Also, what we don't see out here right now is we don't see SWAT in the in the gray uniforms, right? And so the, the SWAT is who, who handles the, the less than lethal munitions. SPD, if I'm getting it wrong, I don't get it, but I, I do know that uh, when when you see the officers in the in the let me get right here. When you see the when when you see the officers that are in the gray, um, and you know you'll you'll see that they have the weapon launcher, right? And so what we let's talk about what we don't see right here. And so it very well might be that SPD at the moment is is content with holding a line right here with officers with batons. Uh, but if if you see the officers in the gray uniforms come down then you know that the posture here on this line is going to change because um, you know they have the the flashbangs they have the blast balls and then they also have you know it's not a rubber bullet but it's a I guess a pepper spray projectile so at the moment we see officers out here with batons and without gas masks um, there is of course a large presence this stage up there at the East Precinct. When you look, you see the red light right there, that cream-colored building, that's the East Precinct. There's the officers that are uh, that are actually set up their stage in the area right there on 12th. So I'm assuming that 12th Avenue is probably closed, was definitely closed in the area around the East Precinct. escape this if we wanted to actually like I said our, our office is in that building right there that has the red uh, the, the red boards up there on the wall so it's uh well it's literally occurring right outside the front door um, we got some helicopters in the air around here too See the streets is littered with like uh, you know remnants of blast bombs. I guess umbrellas, all kinds of stuff out here. More and more 
and more people will die because of this horrible, horrible government. Fuck Trump all the fucking way. We are not just fighting against the Seattle police or Portland police. It is the entire American military complex. The things that are done in the names of our passports, the privileges that we have as Americans, we cannot stay comfortable, we cannot stay complacent as our country fucks the entire world. We are fighting against capitalism. We are fighting against systemic racism. What they're doing right now is they're looking and they're seeing, they're looking for body cameras. And we see a strobe light is now out, a strobe light shining into the light of Officer, Officer Everett. Um, strobe is out. Um, like I said, at the moment, you know, I mean, we've been following this long enough to be able to, 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 to tell the different postures, you know, SPD. And, you know, at the moment, it, it looks like, you know, um, they're here holding the line. Uh, and that's what we see here. Like I said, if, if we see officers come down and tap these officers out with gas masks, put the gas masks on, then that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a real clear change of, of posture. Also, if, if SWAT comes down, and those are the officers that you see in the gray uniforms, the gray jumpsuits, with the uh, with the radios on in their helmet, um, and those those are the ones that have the flashbangs, um, that have the, the the less than lethals basically. So we don't see we don't see SWAT down here, uh, and what and we also don't see officers with gas masks on out here. So. that uh, we go ahead and confirm that uh, mutual aid requests did go out to the King County Sheriff's Office. So the, the, a, a mutual aid request to the King County Sheriff's Office, which means that uh, you'll, you'll find the King County Sheriff's uh, working here with the, with the SPD. Uh, you can see it, it's quite a lot of manpower that's tied up right here. Uh, you know, and this is just what's visible. We don't know what's what's not visible, and also, you know, in other places in the city. So it looks like the King County Sheriff's Department will be uh, joining in with the SPD. I don't I don't know in what capacity or anything like that, but uh, we can confirm it that the the King County Sheriff's Office has got a mutual aid request um, from the SPD, and so we got a. Mutual aid, so. <laughs>
So they're they're asking why why the camera. They're asking why they turn off the body camera. And what he's saying is that is that okay? So let's take a look at this. So apparently there there's two models of body cameras, at least two models that the Seattle Police Department is using. And it looks like this is one model right here. And in this model, there's a red light here that's blinking. This is this is a different model right here. Then th that's your new one, huh? That's the correct answer. The correct answer so, is yes. So right. Okay. So what they're saying is there's two lights. So clearly this this body camera is very is very easy. This body camera is is very easily distinguishable. So, and what what this officer right here is saying is that his body camera is on, and he's saying that it's a different model. Well, clearly it looks different. It's a different model than that one, where this one the red light shines, flashes, and that particular model right there it does not. So, uh, just trying to transmit to to uh, or communicate to people who are viewing the conversation that I just heard. So. stream was four hours. I don't know how deep I'm into this one. It was six hours, man. That's a full-time job out here. Send calligraphy out here. Yeah, we need to send calligraphy. You know what I'm saying? Light work, man. Oh, yeah, man. like to know how how we get this off oh damn there goes the mace don't mace me man please all right now it's all good man don't don't mace me over here bro. oh man i gotta pull out the damn gas mask Put this mask on. Yeah, grab that baby. Yeah, I try to clean, clean the glass on this uh, plastic. It's just worse for the wear, man.
gas mask on. I don't know how well it sounds. But, uh... You ain't safer with me today, bro. <laughs> Believe me. So yeah, I'd say it's about a few hundred people out here right now. talked about a change of posture remember, remember, your body right, camp. remember, remember when I Where's just talked when I just talked about it right when I just talked about a change of posture and what right we see there. what we see in a change of posture Nobody right camp. now is Nobody camp. Uh, oh, not necessarily really? though let's see get out of here this might be a shift change actually these officers are coming this. wearing the the exact same uh equipment that these current officers are wearing right now so it very well could be a shift change where they're coming to to bolster the line here
media, media, press, press. Don't know what just happened, but holy cow. All right, come on. So, oh shit, it's in the air. Take it back, take it back, take it back. What just happened? What just happened? Duh. Who the fuck did they tell you? Say it looked like someone was fighting. I don't know. Who did they Somebody was fighting. Oh, they, they went for an arrest. Holy cow. Well, like we said, it could, in a blink of an eye, things could change out here. Oh, man. There's some kind of action going on over there as well. 11th uh, behind this line. You had your opportunity and you refused to arrest me, so fuck you. Who's last better? Who's last better? Who's last better? Fucking leap every day, all day, 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 every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. uniforms those are special weapons showing up and these guys right here are most likely going to get tapped out and they're going to get tapped out with officers who have the gas masks on because special weapons is right behind them here and the special weapons puts out the blast balls that has some kind of spray it and everything else so these guys aren't currently wearing a protection against the blast balls they just have the uh you know the regular uh covid masks on and so uh, we see the SWAT director is back there. Looks like he's on the radio. So he might be calling in his guys right now. Um, what, what we very well might find here 
is if you see more officers come in now and replace these officers here up front, then I think that the situation here on the street very well might be escalating. All right, we got more gas masks coming in. If this front line right here gets tapped out, if these officers get tapped out, then most likely it's getting ready to get funky again. And there it is. There's the tap out. 100%. There's the tap out right now. So uh, as, as officers who are in the front that don't have the, the gas mask protection, uh, as more of them are tapped out perhaps by other officers, and if we see additional officers from SWAT come down right now, it looks like the SWAT commander is here, but we don't see any of the other officers with the gray uniforms. And those are the ones that manage the special weapons, the blast balls or, or flashbangs, the projectiles, the uh, launchers, and everything else. So at the moment, it's, it's just the, the batons up here out front. And we will see if, uh, if more SWAT officers arrive over here to, the, to this particular front line. Uh, and if so, and if more of the officers that are just wearing the, the COVID mask get tapped out by officers who are wearing uh, gas masks. Darnell, man, I'm good, bro. I can't answer the phone right now, but we're straight. Thank you, fam. Got calligraphy up there. What's up, Khalid? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, brother. I'm ready to change places with you. Uh, you come, you come down here, fam. And uh, look, or you, or you you're giving them sign language, Bobby? Like you come down here, and we go up there. <laughs> I don't think he's coming down, fam. Hands up! Hands up! Stop shooting! Don't shoot! 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 Don't sho
Yeah. 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 Man, it's like the whole, we need the whole gear kit out here, man. I was like, we've been out here, bro. Like, oh, so, we know how to do public disclosure requests, so that's all. Also, so, I like I said, at the moment, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is this is the current posture that, right here. And, um, you know, something going on right over there on 11th. But... Um, you know, clearly it's on the other side, so we're not able to determine what it is. But the the police have that area cordoned off as well. We can see that there's people over there, people and police. Very well could be a straight line like it is over here. Uh, hey, what's up? I got a whole pocket of the racist Oh, okay. You talk to him? Oh, he's so, so look at this. Here's me and Bobby Stills. And there's the rest of Team Converge. Up on the roof, popping it. Your body still burns, bro. Yeah. This stuff ain't going nowhere, is it? Two showers, man. <laughs> Two showers, we're done. <laughs> Your body's burning, bro. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I don't know how we're going. I'm definitely feeling the burn, fam. All right, so we're, we're right here, kind of where it all started. You know, uh, uh, June, the first week of June, right here on Broadway and Pine, the, the Western Barricade was just maybe about 100 feet behind us, right there at the intersection, and we're right back here. Um, and it's, it's been an interesting day today, to say the least. You see the SWAT commander still over there on the phone. He's been talking to somebody for a while. We don't see any other SWAT officers down here, though, uh, in the area. So what? So I should have brought a thermos and dad juice. Man, I mean, you saw a DJ. I'm, I'm so dehydrated, man. Yeah, I know. No, it's really weird because it's like I've drank like five, six bottles of water, but I, but I'm just still hella dehydrated out here. How's your hearing? Uh, yeah, it's it's my ear, my left ear is still like ringing. My right ear. It's it's not it's not as bad as it was before. But for a minute there, I couldn't hear at all out my left ear. Huh? How do you feel about your labor contract next time? You feeling good about it? 
Oh, hey, Bobby. What? Me and Jake, the, the Manners Team Store is open now. Yeah, so me and Jake are going to. Oh, okay, you want to go with us? What time? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out, man. Well, I gotta go. I, need, before, I gotta go before four. Okay, now nah, we'll we'll go. I was saying that, like, man, all my hats during protest season. No, I have your hat in my backpack. No, but they're all my other hats. I mean, but look, it's Don't ruined. Though. It's ruined. So you come with us tomorrow. We're going to the team store. Hey, right, right, we got special delivery, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you gotta take it to the water. So Darnell Hibbler just brought some. Said box water is better. So at least we got some more water. Thanks for the water, Hib. Good looking out. I ain't put it in my pocket over there. No, no, the other one. The lower one. Appreciate you, brother. It's a nice Converse sweatshirt you got on, too. Thank you for the support. Thank, thank you for this water. I was just telling everybody I was hella thirsty, and there you go. Yeah, uh, okay, I did not. We got more officers over here now behind that have the gas mask. We also have the bicycle cops that are taking position, so I know what this means. You need to get to one side of the street or another. The the, the bikes are coming into position, which really which means that um, they're getting ready to run. Hey man, Jake, Jake, get out the middle of the street. The the bikes are getting ready to come right through the middle, man. There you go. There you go. Told you. Told you guys what was getting ready to happen. Here it is. Here's the move back. Here's the move back. Here's the move back. Put your mask on, Bobby. Put your mask on. So, I mean, that one we saw it coming. By the way, you see, that's why I grabbed you, Jake. I see it coming right there. You gotta get over to the side. You see the bicycle cost muster over there like that. It's usually coming right in the middle of the crowd. Uh, and it looks like they might have went for an arrest. Say that they might be making an arrest. Oh man. So now we see officers clearing people out of the park over there at Cal Anderson Park. They're pushing them into the park. I'm 
I'm a child of God. I am a child of God. Now stand to my We're sister. sorry that we're scaring you. I'm not afraid of your fucking Alright, now we see the SWAT officers are here and that means the gas mask is coming back on. So right now we see the officers there in gray. The officers there in gray are the SWAT officers, the special weapons. So we'll probably see the, the blast balls coming out here shortly. Um, they've got the, we've got quite a few SWAT officers that are down here right now. SWAT commander, SWAT officer right here. That means the special weapons are getting ready to come out most likely. Um, you know, that ranges uh, right now from the blast balls or, or or uh, flashbangs to um, pepper spray and whatever kind of new spray this is that's, that's coating the hands, uh, as well as the projectiles, the pepper projectiles. So, I told you, when when you see a change in posture, you know, you see the bike, the bike officers come up there in the middle, uh, I mean, it's usually a pretty good indication that they're getting ready to break through the crowd. That's exactly what happened. Uh, SWAT is now back over here. It's a pretty good sign that, uh, man, it's finna get funky again. Uh, let's see. Uh, we see that the SPD's tightening up the line. So now we see more officers coming up. Let's see. Are we tapping out? I'm a bet. Oh, you're trying to get the flashlight in? I've had that for a long time. Yeah. That's a nice flashlight too. I know. Trying to get that back. Yeah. I have not gone to find. Uh, I have a bad feeling that we're gonna. So they what? They found your flashlight. <laughs> All right, Bobby Steele's got his flashlight back. <laughs> All right, well, he got his, his flashlight back. There you go. <laughs> you get more, you'll get more batteries, man. Huh? Yeah, you'll get more better. Yeah. So I, how come I? How come I'm the only one without a flashlight, man? I be feeling left out. I look. Yeah. Well, I ain't lost my mind yet. That's back. Very well, could be. Thank you. You know why they're pushing it back like that? Just is it pretty ran at random they do that? Oh no! This, this is what happens, man. It's like police push protesters back. Protesters form new line. Police will pro push protesters back. Protesters form new line. I mean, it's just it's what it is. It really just comes down to who's gonna outlast who. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but when they're rushing through like that, so you so the bikes are used to be able to set usually set a new line. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the, the bike officers, that's what they're skilled at, I guess, on the bike is to be able to, to use them as a barricade or either to do like a fast action into the crowd. And that's what you saw right there. So, so you hear it say, who's streets? The Wamis streets. Uh, so people not from the Seattle uh, area, the Wamish. Uh, where the original Native American and inhabitants of the Seattle area, them in the Coast Salish. And so what they're saying is who streets, Duwamish streets.
We're here right here on Pine in between in between uh, 11th, uh, 10th and 11th on Pine. The red light up there, that's 12th. That's where the East Precinct is, the Seattle Police Department East Precinct. This is the SPD. These are the protesters. That's actually the Black Lives Matter mural right there that was painted back during the days of CHOP. this guy this. So, yeah. what's going to happen here is, uh, uh, so. we got a lot of movement and officers in the back back there. So a very what might happen again is that you'll see the bike officers, they're gonna come. Uh, they're gonna come through the crowd, push the crowd back another 20, 30 feet. Uh, uh, pull out their their spray if need be. We see the SWAT, the SWAT is here, they're ready. Um, so SWAT has the, the blast balls. They have the projectiles and some other items right there. Uh, I can't really tell who. I 
if they're really SPD or not. Oh, is that what you're saying? Huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got his, 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 his Velcro there says Seattle Police. I acquired a shield. There you go. Ten plus five. I was giving my number to Jake, and Jake was like, what area code is that? And I'm like, I'm from Oregon. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Good to see you, too. Glad you're okay. Thank you. I was just uh, Thank you. handed a shield. There you go. Oh, We've been here before too many times, ladies and gentlemen, since since uh, since May 29th, Friday, May 29th. It's been here quite a few times. We're here again tonight. Uh, it's been a long day up here on Capitol Hill, like really long. And here we are with the Seattle Police Department over here on one side, group of protesters over here on the right. And uh, man, right back here on Pine Street. the bicycle officers are off of their bicycles, at least a lot of them are, so they're back there talking. Is that chest here? You got some hamburger meat? <laughs> you got some, Bobby Steele's got some hamburger meat on here. <laughs> oh, hell no. You traumatizing the viewers. <laughs> Man, they need to put that Motown back on. You remember they was playing Marvin Gaye earlier? That everybody calmed down for at least like a song and a half, man. You know what I'm saying? We need more of that Motown. Yeah, huh? Let, let's let's slide down some. Oh, let's slide down. Good shot right here. Because over on the field, they're playing soccer. 
and frisbee or something just a, a few feet away over there. They're on the play field doing their thing. And they're still up there on the roof, too. Hey, hey, hey.
Iraq officer, you really make it bad. Because you're on the inside. You should be in there telling your sergeant, telling your team, that this shit shouldn't happen. That black folks shouldn't have to be killed. You should ask your fucking chief, why the hell do you have to go to work today, every day in a hostile environment? Because it's hostile for you, even when there's not a protest. You expect the black people to abide by the law, but then you don't. Anytime I'm standing with my friends, and a police officer, see how a police officer rides by, they look to see what we're doing. Sometimes they go around the fucking block, and they come back to see what the fuck we're doing. We don't live free. We're not free. Lincoln freed us, but us black folks are not free. We are not free until the police stop killing us. We are not free until they stop brutalizing us. The people united will never be divided. 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 The people united will never be No 
So many of those nights at Western Barricade, you know, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. It's like, who goes home first? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's true.
I must be something, because God don't make junk. You know, there's certain things I don't agree with. I don't care if they it's funny or not. What I can't afford. No, I'm looking at the case, right? I don't give a fuck what they pay these motherfuckers. Uh -huh. Me too much. I know the motherfuckers are overpaid for what they do. But that don't matter to me. What matters to me is no more unarmed black men die by the hands of white police. That's what I want. Don't misunderstand me. If you're out there on patrol and a motherfucker pulls a gun on you, do what you're trained to do. But when you see a gun, because I'm not going to stand and let a motherfucker point a gun at me and not handle my motherfucking business. It's the unarmed ones I'm talking about. I'm talking about John Furr. You see, he was a black man. He had a baby in his hand. If he'd have been a white man, it would have been a negotiation. But because he was black, it was a homicide. You see how many rubber bullets they fired out this motherfucker? Nope. Police ain't got no business firing no gun at no man with no baby in his hand. <laughs> They're not unchangeable. How many of you all speak out of here with your buddy and you did something wrong? Get on past the wall saying that they got him. How many of them would stand Get up to the man? Please do not post it while I'm standing here. I don't come out here to throw shit. I don't come out here to damage people's property. I'm not here to steal. I want to see change. That's the only reason I'm here. I want to go buy me a motherfucking Cadillac and not worry about being pulled over because I'm driving a fucking Cadillac. Because I had a Cadillac and I had to get rid of it because every time I drove it, I got pulled over. So now I drive a fucked up Honda. And they still pull me over. I really do. I got a whole bunch of black folks. Black folks that care about me. They love and care about me. But it looks like I got a whole bunch of people that care about what happens to me. And that's just as important. Yeah. 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 They care about what happens to my people. See, they never expected white folks to come out and fight for black folks. That's why you white folks are getting sprayed directly in your face. That's why they ain't with your face, because they're mad, because you got your ass out here to stand up for black folks, which you don't even do. Every day. All right. But you have every goddamn right Stand up for it. You got it. You have every right. I would sure like to see the discipline on patrol. Because every time a motherfucking police get behind me, the first thing you do is run my place. I don't know why most of these motherfuckers know. Most of these motherfuckers know. <laughs> <laughs> see, in 2010, they decided to beat up my son. That's what 
they did. That's why it's so fucking personal. Because this is generation. That officer, Officer Bradley Richardson, is still on the police force. A white man got a talk. You need some water up? They rolled up on my son and his best friend, and they convinced the kid in his ass and beat their ass. And then they went and got the white man, and he said, that's not them. I've got water in my back pocket if you want it. Still booked my son in jail. There's nothing been in jail in his fucking life. I guess this is like what they were doing. Because they had just got hired at Bowen. So they turned that celebration upside down. Woo! Bradley Richardson said, he told one of his partners, and it's on recording. I thought I was going to get to shoot one of these black fellas. Bradley Richardson was the one that said, and for you taxpayers, I really appreciate the money you guys gave my son because of what Bradley Richardson did. I'm sorry, it's done. Because he didn't pay for it, the taxpayers did. And that's what they need to do. You know, everybody's been asking for all of these motherfuckers demands. You see, if you, if you get a demand and they don't have that professional immunity and they can be personal soon, these motherfucking police will get up every day and go to work and police themselves because they start losing their kids. They start losing their kids' college funds and shit. They start losing their house. They start losing their And really, as long as we're peaceful, they shouldn't be blocking our way. And to the kids, our constitutional right to protest, as long as we are peaceful, they should be not be standing here blocking our way. In fact, as long as we're peaceful, they shouldn't even be here. First Amendment. Hey. Fuck you! Hey! 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 That's not gonna help us! Whoa, whoa, whoa! 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 See? We take care of our own. You don't have to do a damn thing. You don't have to do a damn thing. We take care of our own. Why are you scared of these people? Why are you scared of these people? I got you. 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 I got if I do something out of order, I expect you to hold me accountable. You call me on it. You call me on it. Not them. You call me on it. If I do something fucked up, you call me on it. If I stand on the sidewalk, call me on it. No. I Why? No because the homeless sleep on the sidewalk. Right? No. Right. No. Not good. So why should I spit on the sidewalk? Not good. Right? Sauce. <laughs> you hold me accountable. Right? Yeah. So we hold each other accountable. They don't. They don't. They don't. They protect. They're supposed to serve. They lie to each other. However, there is a new law in Colorado that you guys should be aware of. That law.
there for a minute. seen right here, I guess you can say for the last 40, 45 minutes, um, probably not that long, but at least the last 30 minutes is the police have held the line right here in the middle of line in between 10th and 11th. Uh, there's been some speakers from the protest group that have come out here and had some some conversations. We see that the bike officers, though, they're, they're, they've taken a posture over there. The bike officers are in position. They're on the bikes. Um, we see the SWAT officers are right there. You see two SWAT officers right over there. There's another SWAT officer. Um, you know, for for the for the most part here, what we've seen is at this point the protesters are uh, just standing here um, and being fairly vocal as the police have held the line right here. And what what we do see though is, like I said, there's. Uh, unit of bicycle officers that are now on the scene over there. Uh, they're, they're behind. That's a, a little ways behind. Where? Oh, 
see a shift change happening up here on the front line. while the protests go on. It's a lively game of ultimate frisbee happening right there at Cal Anderson Park. It's like the shirts versus the skins. All right, looks like they're continuing with the ship change over here. See that car, fam? Yes, so, are you planning on talking to the sergeant? They gave you a card. Are you going to follow up with him? So now... He's asking to march past the West Precinct or past the East Precinct. So the bicycle officers that were staged over there, they're now going back towards the East Precinct. So now you get some people who are saying to march, and you got another group who's saying they're not leaving. So, man, 
this dude's doing a lot. He got a selfie stick on roller skates. Let's go. Um, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Looks like they're turning around here. So right now you've got a group that are that's uh, ready to stay right here, and you got another group that's saying that they want to go and take it to the streets and uh, and march. We'll see what happens. Well, it doesn't look like they're marching anywhere. They're saying right now, let's say her name, Charlena Lyles.
guy. Yeah, let me see if I can find him. I want to see. He said he's going to have a conversation with the sergeant who gave him the uh, the card. Let's see if I can find him. That's just tapping out. We're just trying to create peace. We're not attacking you. We're not attacking you. We have not attacked you. We know that. We're not attacking you. We haven't attacked you. There we go. So now that's Sergeant Go Hagen right there. Go Hagen, hold on. Go, Go Hagen was the one we talked to earlier. Uh, and Sergeant Go Hagen is back there and, and he's instructed them to now move back. right there on the other side of the crosswalk is where SPD made up. So now they've stopped right here at this crosswalk. All right, well, let's not be in the middle of the street. So the sergeant is moving them back. I think they're going to most likely hold on the other side of this crosswalk or the crosswalk right here. Bobby's telling me to get out the middle of the street. Yeah. So we're going to we're going to move over here to the corner. We're going to move over here to the corner. And now the police, yeah, they formed their line right there just above the crosswalk, oddly enough, that's where the Western Barricade was. Right here. What's up? The sergeants are moving the officers back. Sergeant is now forming a line right here. They've, they've, they've placed the line. The sergeant is coming across now, and they're putting their line down. And now this is I, this is exactly almost where this western barricade was, uh, uh, June first, right here. This 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 was the location of it. So now the 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 police are about a, about a hundred some odd feet from the actual from the east precinct. To see right back there is the east precinct. For us, if FSPD goes back just 60 feet, we can go in our office. We're gonna call it a night. But <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna see that happen or not.
All right, so we told you earlier that the King County Sheriff had got called in for mutual aid. We see an officer right there. It must be a deputy. They have a sheriff shield back there. So it looks like the King County Sheriff is on the ground over here and perhaps reinforcing the Seattle Police Department. We see a King County Sheriff shield right back there.
Saw something coming across the line.
signal to push for the Hey, you need to have Hey, I'll be back it up. Hey, 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 Doing that on a, a 12. Turn it to the. It's like turn it to the south. But what's that wrap around? everybody back from uh, the eastern side of 11th now to the western side of 11th we see SWAT right there um, the commanders are back there that's the SWAT commander and that's the uh, captain one of the captains I believe will be in the precinct I'm 
nice. You know, I'm not what you call it, but like somehow Domino's always gets delivered in yeah, at the protest. It be going down. It's funky. Everything. I'm good, man. Thanks for the offer, though. Oh, all right. Well, you know what I'm saying? There, there, there you go. Yeah, but like, yeah. But I'm all right.
Kobe asked me to step over here. So.
bitch ass. Don't fucking touch me and don't touch me. What you're not gonna do is touch him. I'm gonna fuck if you touch me. You know, Chief Best is giving a live interview right now, and so we're just we're listening to Chief Best press conference.
passed your budget, how are they going to buy their band bonds? <laughs> Are they going to take man bonds out the budget? Defund SPD! That's going to be a lot of messy clutches.
We're getting ready to hit our limit right here on four hours on this stream. Just listening to uh, Chief Best, um, the Sheriff, and uh, Chief Scoggins. They just did a press conference over there. Just trying to uh, hear as much as I can. It is the best environment to be hearing though. But it uh, looks like what Chief Best said was that there was about, uh, she said, four dozen arrests today so far. Um, and she said that this was a, you know, it was an ongoing event that was still happening here. So. But, um, yeah, before we hit the limit right here, man, let me set the scene as we did once again back in the day. Is that we're right here on uh, 11th and Pine. This is where the Western Barricade used to be. Sat here for eight days. And protesters are still out here in the street. SPD right here. Uh, thus far, uh, the last the last 30 some odd minutes, they pushed they pushed people back. Uh, probably about 30, 40 minutes ago, back into the intersection, and they made an arrest, and then they retreated back to the position they're in right now. So you know we don't like I said right now we don't see any SWAT out here. Uh, well, SWAT's way back there. So it looks like they're chilling at the moment. Um, gas masks are on. And what we have seen for the stream is, is we've seen a lot of discussion. So it looks like another discussion going on right there. Where protest, protesters and officers have been speaking uh, throughout the night. Whether they agree or not, we don't know, but they definitely been speaking. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to let this stream in here. We're going to take a break. Uh, We'll come back out here here in a little bit. We gotta see how we can get into our office, man. So we go sit down for, a, huh? Oh, uh, okay. So we can just go sit down for a minute, man. Uh, you know, it's been like nine or ten hours out here on this stream, but I'll say this: the energy is still here. And, uh, 
police are here. We saw this before. It's many a nights that we saw everything end at three or four in the morning. So, um, with crowds this size or even smaller, we'll see what happens. So, uh, yeah, it's counting down right now. So, look, I want to uh, tell everybody I appreciate your support. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, of, of watching this stream and uh, supporting Converge Media. The stream's going to end here in a second, man. We're going to take a break uh, and actually tend to a few things here. We'll cut you back up with you in a bit.